Telag. Telag are real. So, so we are. Uh, Mystic, how are we doing? We need to go see the ferryman. The hooded figure on the boat. Ignores you completely. Well, story of my life. Hmm. Is the phone not working? I don't know why I tried that. Dragging and dropping is not a mechanic. Hmm. Can't seem to get the ferry to activate. Which isn't as much as a problem because I can use the magic carpet. Hmm, what's this? Is on the list of bugs, no doubt. Oh. Not thinking, am I? He's dead. Because he's like death. No. Clues in the name. Seance spell. Before you stands a tall skeletal figure in a ghostly boat. Holds out his hand to you and says in a sepulchral voice, I am the ferryman of Scarabray that must pay two coins to cross the misty channel. I am the ferryman. He doesn't respond, shaking his head from side to side. I am the ferryman. Ferryman, yes, if you pay me, I can take you across the misty channel. Turns aside and waves his skull hand in a sweeping gesture over the water and his boat rests. This is the misty channel. Arabre turns away around, points across the water to the west. There, are you sure we need to go over there? It's not as shaming as I'm afraid. Of course not, I just, well, oh, never mind, let's go. <laughs> Yellow's eyes narrow as he adopts a patronizing look on his face. And I suppose thou out without fear, says to Spark. No, sir, I'm not afraid of a skeleton. He looks at the pheromone, however, he gulps. Hey, yes, I'll pay the price. Step aboard, if that's good to the Isle of the Dead. <laughs> well, that was worth it, wasn't it? Scarabre. Uh, H? No, not H. P. Population 47. So. Living population, none. Now, I can't even remember what's happened here. Why is it all destroyed? The corpulent undead barkeep, a creature with a wide, gruesome smile. Come, stranger. I haven't seen the old Markham until the travels don't forget visitors here anymore. Ever since zombie wipes his mouth. Back of his hand to be Markham, Markham of the keg. That's the large keg of wine he carries. Why are on this fine establishment? Keg of spirits. For a moment, become serious. Place once drew folk from all across Britannia, gargle human like until the fire eyes. Looks uncomfortable. Cain blew the town to the four winds, and now we're all trapped here, slaves of that bastard Horrence. Tiny blue flames appear in the pupils of his glazed eyes, then go out as he regains his composure. Please, Markham, have a little pity for Kane. He was trying to create something to save the town when we made he made this fatal mistake. Pale goats looks deeply troubled. Oh, I suppose you're right, Quinn. He was trying to help us when he called the proverbial fires of hell down on us. It just rankles me to have died in my prime. His ruggish smile once again lightens. Keg of spirits. This place was once my pride and joy. Keg was known all around Britannia and a few other places too. Well, I don't like it too much, but in the head air, so it likes for nobles, knights, minstrels, and merchants. Of course, a bit of riffraff to be sure. Kane, look and disgust comes through his disfigured features. That touch of soul holds a crater made by his foolish mistake. Won't go name though, he's a bit daft, you know. 
fills his mug from the cast inside and swigs down most of the wine in one swallow. For all the years I've been in Scarabra, he's been a raving lunatic. We met Horrence, I think. He was on the island south, uh, north of Scarabra in six. He was one of the mages that you could get spells from. But with all them silly rhymes and his crazy laughter, then one night we all hear thunder when there isn't a cloud in the sky and they seem to recall a full moon. He gets thoughts of looking in his eyes, but as I was saying, there was thunder. Then this deep, dark laughter coming from the tower in the middle of the point. Horrence is dark tower. After this, falls silent for a moment. The pale ghost moves forward and whispers, I was already living in half a world when the... I was already living in the half world of the dead when those people, those events took place. And ever since I felt a strange pull coming from the tower. After a brief swig, he continues, then even worse, I'm out checking the cows when there's a sound like moaning. It's off to the east, look that way to the graveyard. And what do I see? Tell you what I see. The graves ripping up like the people in them got a place to go. This is the name of the rest of us in Scarabray, the tortured one. Now, that's who I need to talk to. Are you leaving? Well, take care and watch out for the walking dead. Some of them aren't too happy about their state and none too picky about who they complain to neither. Pale looking ghost turns in direction gives you a wan smile. Hello, could it be that we've met somewhere before, my lord? You see recognition in his eyes, then it fades. Forgive me. I'm the shade of Quentin. Oh. Quentin, 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 Quentin. Uh, is this the unsolvable murder? I think it is. There's a well-known bug or well-known uh, unsolvable plotline in Ultima 6, I think it is, isn't it? Where somebody's been murdered. Yes, he was. Uh, an uncompletable quest chain in the normal version I think they fixed it in Excel where you can actually um, sorry in Excel in um, Nuvi I think it is the Ultima 6 em is it an emulator or the, the modernizer for it um, and they've actually fixed the fact that you can investigate his murder and this is the same guy still stuck here <coughs> Once we're on the sea, for days at a time, gathering my harvest of fish. My story is long and a sad one, hope that's some time. When I was a young man, I met a lovely woman by the name of Gwen. I made up my wife, and we lived for a time, I've been kept free. She brought a light into the world and called her Marnie, which means cool breeze after a storm. Yes, that was it, Marnie. She smiles to himself, he smiles to himself some memory, and then continues with the furrow brow. Then one day, my wife was taken from me, and I don't know where, who said that they were evil men. Soon after, my sweet man, he came sick at heart, and I feared for her health. I couldn't take from my fishing to care for her, but I needed a cold. Especially was a man who thought to be trifled with. That was my undoing, for when I failed to repay his loan, he came to me one night and slew me. Not a chance to fight back or call for help, but that was long before the fire that turned to the land, the island of the dead. Kane, he was an alchemist here in Scarabray. He spends his days in eternal pain caused by his guilt from causing the fire that scrubbed the town. After I was murdered, my good friend Yol cared for her as his own, tried his best, but sickness only worsened. After several months, she wicked and died. And now her spirit is held by Horrence the Lich. Must rescue her from that foul beast. Attempts to grab you, but his hands pass through you without resistance. Now, now, Quen, settle down. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. Sometimes lose his control like that when he talks about his daughter. Sure, you can understand. Fire. Seems that Mistress Medora, the town healer, <laughs> thought she had a plan to stop the Lich Horrence, which she told to the mayor. Not sure exactly what she planned, but it involved Trent, the town smith, and Kane, the alchemist. Not long after Kane began his work, a maelstrom of fire tore over the island, destroying everything. Scarabred have burned for days. I would like to assist us. She's the best one to speak to. She seems to know that the way to uh, as of the lich at least once over two centuries ago I knew a gifted mage named Horrence his two loves of life for the study of magic and writing lovely poetry people of Scarabray felt safe in the knowledge that this sort of mage protected the town then he began to change first his beautiful sonnets became rhyming doggerel became the only way in which he would speak spells which he displayed for the town's work became destructive and violent people can fear him 
<laughs> God, I'm tired. No, death occurred. About this time, not long after that, he became a reclusive. A tower built on a northern point, never removed himself from it. Then one night, the graves of the graveyard opened and the dead began to walk. That's right, I see it, I did. They marched to his tower and they roam over the island performing his bidding. Again, so the ghost cannot make an honest living no more. Mayor. The mayor, well, he believes that discretion is the better part of valour, so he may be able to offer thee some aid, but they're likely to need to convince him that thou art not here to hurt him. Trent, the poor man knows the spirit wrenching feeling of loss on as well as eyes. While Rowena was killed by the walking dead, and Mistress Medora claims that he saw her sitting on her f next to the lich. He was a driven tread somewhat mad, he works night and day upon some oddly formed cage. Strange that he never seems to finish it. Not seem to recall that he died in the fire either, but a great hatred for horror still burns in his heart. The last K in his last in his attempt to free us from the lich, he said damned us come slaves of the self same lich. Yes, we're his slaves. Every night at midnight we must go to the dark tower and become servants of the black mass. I only know this because M Mordra tells us it's so. Uh, I have no recollection of ever having been to the Tart Tower at all. Okay, tell me that. Oh god, I can't believe I'm yawning my head off so much. Let me watch. I've got plenty of time before they all up and leave. God. Hang on. Is that another ghost? What? Uh, who's being sick? Sit me while in the life of my eternity with your wondrous witty smiles in that charming way that only the half rotted can. Oh. Oh, it was just him again, I thought it was a third ghost. Oh, because it's haunted. The furniture has to move on its own. That still works, huh? For the love of uh, M A R N, oh, for the love of Marnie. I didn't mean equip it. Any rings and can we? I just that's weird. I think we need that. Yeah, anyway. J J R R T A Great Man. A great writer. Oh, J R T. It's Tolkien. Why he gets a statue? Statue? I don't know. So the entire island's blocked off to stop you uh, getting to it by boat until you've got the seance spell. Let's say. can get to the magic carpet if I needed to. Why didn't that work? Ah, that's 
tree still alive? That's a bit odd. What's the yellow stuff? We would live in a house like this. <laughs> Someone with lots of reagents for me. It's so kind. Chris, not a lot. Then you got fucking fire doom stuff. It's not exactly fair, is it? Ooh, I don't know what that potion is, but we like it. Then this page I had read, but no reference to us. Uh, oh, we've read this. Hello, my lord. They must call me Mistress Mordra. She peers at you closely. And there must be Slegnar, the Avatar. She looks you over thoroughly, lifts up her hands, and one of them. See an ank, words which she barely rec vaguely recognise flow from her lips, and the ank glows brightly. Stops chatting the ank dims. After analysis of your condition is complete. Ah, it's good to see that the world has been treating me well. I may save the ill virtuous one. How do you know I am? I was the healer of this town before the fire erupted that shattered the lives of those they are deviled in secret medical arts for a while. Her eyes twinkle mischievously. If I were to reveal them to thee, there would be a secret no longer, now, would there? Well, no shit. Would I like to know about the terms, terms work of Scarab Bray? Yeah, why not? Well, whom would you speak? The ferryman? Know very little about that one. He's been here since the Lich called up the angry dead from their graves. No one thing, though, even... Should thou defeat Horrence, he will remain here under the Gaius he serves. Little, little sad as she tells you this. Mark him. Rascal up on one of the best pubs this side of Buccaneer's Den, not so he'd have the belief. A bit rough around the edges, but he knows how to buy a good wine, that's for sure. Tasting barmaids isn't half bad either. If there's met Paulette, there's no voice speak. Well, I haven't. Quentin's had a life fraught with grief. The one ailment none of my magic seems to be able to do much about. His wife Gwen was taken by a rather nasty group of men several years after the birth of their daughter Marnie. I know what happened to her, but I've spared Quentin's knowledge out of pity. The men thought she was a noble lady due to her unsurpassed beauty. When they found out she was a wife of a lowly fisherman, they raped her brutally and sold her to a disreputable brothel. Unfortunately, fortunately, she died not long after her arrival there. Yes, yes, half told tales and no tale at all. Marnie took ill after her mother's abduction and lived with one foot in the grave for several years more. Finally, Quentin could take no more. He borrowed money from a violent man named Michael. He went by the moniker Blade. When he could not repair the loan, Blade slew him. However, this is not the end of my piteous uh, pit tale. For even after his death, Quentin Shade was forced to remain in the town of spirituality where he had to watch his beloved Marnie grow more ill and eventually die. Yol, the man who cared for Marnie after her father's death, built a shrine to her earthly body. I sincerely hope that this rid us of horror so that Quentin may join his loved ones wherever they may be. Uh, first comes passionless for the first time since you met her. The reason I know this story is because my late brother Rinaldo sat on the bench at High Court U. He wrote to me about the capture of not only Blade but also of the pirates who abducted Quentin's wife. Pirates spent the rest of their days in the lowest cells of a dungeon. Blade met his fate upon the edge of a guillotine. Fitting death, do you not think? Well, it's quite a lovely girl, a little bit childlike in outlook. Father was not of this world, I believe. He spoke with an odd inflection and appeared to be very unlike most other people of Britannia. Then, as well as no many people of the world come to this land. Is that the Danish bloke? Swedish bloke? Even heard of, r rumoured that Lobrit himself is an outworlder. Imagine that. Graves are around, as if spilled forth a dead of Scarabray. Imagine hearts are rotten and care not for the living, hence the name Angry Dead. Fire. There's a doom of this town, though. I place no blame on the alchemist Kane. If 
Remember, I was the one who told him the recipe that I'm sure will rid us Horrence the Lich. I call him the tortured ones because he's an eternal pain caused by searing flames looking at his flesh. The pain is imagined, but to him it's real as you are right. Or at least as real as you. <laughs> Just with a simple mixture of a few ingredients. It should have worked. I expect the mayor of ours Forsyth fouled things up. Man is a bumbling idiot. It is his fault the island is destroyed. Gave him the exact portions of the reagents to be used in the magical formula and paraphrased it to the alchemist. Okay, and by the size of the fire, I'm sure he misquoted the amount of mandrake root by tenfold. Damn that foolish man. Subject she likes to avoid. Take care of thyself, but it should be folly. I hope that will come back to him. Let me minister in ailments. Okay, so I've got my own undead healer available. Town hall. middle-aged ghost cowering in the corner of his burnout room shaking from head to toe as you approach he jumps out waving an ankh in your face now that have me foul beast back back as they the name of the virtues back slowly notices this is having no effect other than surprise you and looks more closely in your direction looks from you to a picture of you on the wall back and forth he looks squinting his eyes until they go wide with relief well thank thee for coming lord uh, yes that could have been interesting thank thee for coming lord british finally called it to help us He's obviously suffering from delusion. I may foresight us out. I think it will take long for them to defeat the Lich. Did I not reveal I am the mayor? Well, fuck off. The Lich has been a horrible scourge on my poor town. First he drives away all visitors by raising the dead. None attempt to stop it. The town is destroyed by a terrible fire, which I suppose, I suppose is not strictly his fault, but well, something had to be done about him. Tortured one. That's what we call Cain. He's the alchemist to create the fire. Ooh, minimize. Well, the alchemist is the one who started the fire. Puts his arm around your shoulders and whispers, Mistress Mordra, our healer. Let's found a way to get rid of Horace once and for all. We have to just make a gold cage, or was it an old cage? Well, no matter. Well, make this cage, and someone looks at you, lowers it into the well of souls to do something or other to it. And this is done, you shall catch the lich off guard late at night and snap it tight around him. Sounds easy thus far, yes? One well, avatar. This needs only pour on him the magic liquid that the alchemist was making. Got that. Apparently, he got proportions a bit off when I told the alchemist about the formula. Anyway, it should be as easy as falling off a log for the. I guess that's better be running along now. Mistress Mordra could tell the ever so much. But this, careful though, she's a dangerous old winch. Well, if I got all this lich law straight, then Horrence, who used to be good and kindly mage, has become a nasty, horrible, undead mage. Now run along and can ask Mordra if you need more information. She was just across the way. Da, 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 da. Thank you. Nice talking to thee. No, I haven't finished talking to you yet. Proportions. It's long ago I barely remember a smacking of curing, a dash of proportion of invisibility, and that's right, a ton of the essence of mandrake root. Oops, well, the alchemist is the one who started the fire. Yeah, it's you, you dick. Any new conversation? Okay, so that's the mayor. This is the blacksmith music box. There's a cage. They're on about. See, in the fire of the ghostly forge, a large, heavy muscled ghost with a full beard and mustache does not notice your approach. Deep furrow accented by a thick eyebrows creases the ghost's weary brow. He doesn't look away from his work. I am Trent. Now please leave me to my work. He continues hammering on the strangely shaped iron cage. Are that blind? Because I not see I'm a smith. Anger radiates from the large ghost in almost tangible ways. Looks at you. 
from the cage and see that like fire isn't coming from the forge, it's coming from his eyes. I built this cage to destroy that bastard Horrence who took my wife from me. For a moment you think he's going to strike out at you, then he unclenches his fist with a heavy sigh and returns to his work. His whole body tenses as you speak. Horrence wake up something like a, t a curse. I will see his foul spirit burn before mine eyes, then I will laugh as he cries out pitifully for mercy. For some reason you think you'd rather avoid hearing that laugh. One hot tear slips from the ghost's eye and falls into the heated piece of iron cage. It sizzles, then is gone. Rowena was my life, my only joy of this world. Then he returns to his guttural tones. He killed her and took that joy from me. Now I'm the only uh, a hollow shell of a man burning with hatred. Hold up one hand as you say a name. Please do not say that name. It takes from me a little of mine hatred, which is all I have now. But so rob me of the one thing that keeps me alive. Seeing that he's unaware of the fact that he is indeed no longer alive. An odd expression crosses his face. I gave her a music box for our wedding, and now it's all I have to remember her by. Do see what that's done? I cannot work when I think of her. It's a renewed passion. Notice the music box sent her by. In an attempt to steal her away from my side, the evil fiend sent undead minions to bring her to the Dark Tower. The mindless creatures slew her as she struggled. Ghost turns to an anguish I could do not save her. Sheer numbers of skeletal warriors bore me to the ground as she was bereft of life. And same determination flickers in the ghost's eyes. For this I will never forgive and never forget. If he heard you, he ignores you. Take your leave. Yeah. 